I'm Katie. I gather you're struggling with the speed of your service. Let's see if we can remedy that. Naturally, everyone wants the best ultra-fast broadband, such as Voom Fiber. Speed test websites are one way to check your connection, but lots of these sites use international servers, which can slow down your speed. Running the site using a server based in Australia is going to give a very different reading to one in London. You can try it out for yourself and see the difference. It's also important to be aware that Wi-Fi is unlikely to ever be as fast or faster than an Ethernet connection, which is why, for business use, we'd always recommend the most direct connection, an Ethernet cable running directly from your Hytron router into your device, and avoiding Wi-Fi whenever possible. Any equipment that sits between your device and the Hytron is another hurdle that needs to be jumped and can make your service slower. It could be hardwired or using the Wi-Fi and can range from firewalls to servers, switches, toasters and kettles. So when performing speed tests, don't forget to remove any devices sitting between your computer and the router to make sure you get the most accurate result. Legacy equipment could also be slowing down your service. Most commonly, it's due to Cat5 cables, which can only handle speeds of 100 meg. We'd recommend replacing them with Cat5e or better but can also be down to the equipment itself or how it's been configured. The easiest way to find out is by looking at the LED port status on the back of your modem. If it's green, either the cable itself or the equipment on the other end of the cable can only handle up to 100 megabytes, so might need updating or reconfiguring. If it's orange, it's good for up to a gig, which is ideal. Interference is the most common cause of slow speeds, whether it's too many applications running on a single computer or a faulty switch between the user and the Hytron. To find out where interference is happening, you'll need to test your equipment. First, remove all additional equipment from the Hytron and hardwire a computer up to it directly. Then make sure the LED light is orange and close all applications using the internet. Now you can begin testing. Start adding your equipment back in and testing as you go to see how the speed changes. This will give you the most accurate result, the best indicator of speeds you're actually receiving and where the problems lie. Finally, don't forget security is extremely important. While our modems have built-in firewalls, they can't handle the security of a network single-handedly. The more users you have, the more security you'll need. If you've picked up a virus, this can have drastic effects on the performance of your network, and we'd strongly advise investigating this further on site. I hope this has helped. If you need anything else, why not check out our health and support pages, or for more information, talk to us on live chat.